So I've been collecting Zelda games for a while, like these here, along with a couple others that are actually to my side. Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons, soon to be Minish Cap, and A Link to the Past, plus a physical copy of the original Zelda game in Zelda 2, even though I may never play it, and this the Zelda games that are on this system. However, as I'm considering all this stuff, my brain goes, well, what is the difference between collecting and hoarding? What is the difference between the type of people? People who collect and people who hoard. And that really got me thinking a lot more than what I normally do before doing one of these videos. That being said, how's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome to another video. So... The funny thing about this is that when I looked up the separate definitions, it made me very much wonder why people call hoarders what they are until I started really deep thinking about it. Because the literal definition of a hoarder is someone who stocks or stores money or valued objects, typically ones typically in secret or carefully guarded. So, if this is the case, then how are you supposed to know who's a hoarder and who isn't when the definition of a collector is somebody who collects items, but it's more publicly known? Now, I may just be going off of a stereotype here, just getting lean back slightly. Like, for me, based off these definitions, that would make me a collector, which I consider myself anyway, because it's not a large collection. At this point, once they're all gathered up, it would be a collection of maybe 25, 26. Not very much. Like, right now, if we're just talking about physical copies, it's six of them. If we're talking about any type of copy, that would make it technically 9 12 9 9 <sighs> but either way based off the world's eyesight a lot of the time I guess I would technically still be a collector unless it started filling up the room with that kind of stuff which it doesn't Literally, it's those. Again, plus the two that I've shown on the camera twice already. Which I still have to play through. But, it makes me wonder... The big difference between the two. Why do people consider collectors hoarders? Well, in the eyesight of a human mind a lot of the time, a hoarder is somebody, yes, who collects but to an extremely unhealthy degree. The problem I have with this is be that it doesn't match the actual definition of hoarders, of a hoarder. Because as I said, and this is going off of, I believe, dictionary.com. Um, I actually have it rung up. Yeah. The literal definition of a hoard, not a hoarder, a hoard. A stock or store of money or valued objects, typically one that is secret or carefully guarded. If this was true, and if people actually went off the definition, not hoarders barely exist on the world, because most people don't keep their collections secret. And people, you, if not secret, people at least do know. It wouldn't be a secret to everyone, yes, quote from the original Zelda game, but it also wouldn't be, you know, 100% unknown. Based off the definition, no, almost, it's extremely rare to find hordes of anything. But at the same time, but that would also kind of 
not match up to what people consider a horror. Which is weird. Collectors, on the other hand, collect items, yes, and they publicize them, yeah, but they're not very big. They're usually of the past. Again, like the stuff I just looked at. Or they'd be recent things, and collected to a very specific degree until you get tired of it. Now that's another thing. A lot of people who I come across, I'm basing this, again, all this is based off people I've come across. Based off these people's mindset, if what these people were talking about was the case, then technically I personally should be a hoarder. Because to an unhealthy degree, yes, if it's in secret, it's unhealthy, but people have changed that to the point where any aspect of it being unhealthy would make it hoarding. According to the people I talked to about this, now it's scattered, it was actually in school, and it was kind of debated. No argument or anything like that, it was debated. Now, I don't go to school. This is a reference to back in 2019. Regardless, I talked about it, and a lot of people were just, it was like a debate club where we would decide, okay, what is each? And as I'm discussing this amongst others, there was no end result, and it got to the point where everyone just kind of walked away from it. We moved on. But most of the people I talked to, again, they collect things, a hoarder would be someone who collects things to an unhealthy degree. Which, yes, partially, as I've, I've said that a few times, I know that, but it partially matches up to the actual definition, but at the same time, it doesn't. And it's weird. Now, I've talked about what a hoarder is a lot. What's a collector? Outside of the obvious, someone who collects things. The difference. What would differ a nor an actual hoarder from an actual collector? Why is a collector different? Well... According to the world, they know their limits, but a collector is just someone who collects. It could be to an extreme extent, it could be a small amount of things. Good example with me, I collect Zelda games. I also collect, now, thanks to all of you people who have suggested it, Pokemon games. Not the cards, though, just the games, or the anime. I don't really watch the anime, either. But the collection size differs, because each... Now, if we were to go off the idea that I collect games in general, that's, first of all, false. I don't have very many physical copies of things. Aside from the two I showed, this, which will be coming soon... DK64, two games that are actually Ambers that she doesn't even really play as Well, one of them she does, the other one she doesn't. Those, that's about it. And I don't collect them. I have them because I like playing through these certain things. That, plus, you know, all the incoming Zelda and Pokemon that came from some of your guys' requests. So don't look at me, I do it for you guys. <laughs> Plus, that I'm literally trying to prep to build a shelf behind me to have all this kind of stuff for nostalgia purposes. And it won't just be games either. It's just games at the current moment. But I digress. For me, outside of games, collecting. Well, I also have collected the entirety of the good... Emphasis on good, Mythbusters. I love that series. Same with Ruby. R-W-B-Y. Ruby. I collected those, and still planning on collecting the rest of it. I think there's only supposed to be nine seasons. Maybe I'm wrong, but still. You think about it, and those are collections. Different types of collections. It's not really the idea of what hoarding is. That's the big difference right there. 
Hoarding is a a hoarder is a type of collector. But a lot of people look at hoarders as someone who doesn't collect, who gathers way too much in a healthy degree. But that's not true. But, you know what? It's my eyesight. Other people see it differently. And teach their own. That's all I can really say about it. Anyway, speaking of teach their own, that's probably something I need to talk about as well. But I'll do that later. I'm going to leave this video here. Do you guys agree with what I have to say, or do you agree with the, a lot of the world, that a lot of the other people that I've met, that hoarding, hoarders are di much different from collectors than from what I'm saying? Which one do you guys agree with? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out any other opinionated things from my end, or discussion or rants kind of stuff, or things where I talk about how the kind of person I am, click the links on the side of my head. If you want to check out anything else that I've done, click the link down below. Um, for the channel itself, or the link that's under my chin, or attached to my chin, or something like that, I don't know. Uh, if you want to check anything else out, definitely check out the channel, because I do more than live stuff. I also do gaming things. Like those. And the Pokemon that I was mentioning. Anyway, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see all of you in another one. Bye for now.